Live this life. Metal Mindset. A Lifestyle for You. By Mark Piercy. Thursday 24th of February 2011. From, Mark Piercy. Mark. I'd just like to take this opportunity to congratulate you on your decision to make a psychological adjustment to your current way of thinking. It is my sincerest hope that Live This Life's metal mindset exceeds all of your expectations but, before you dig in, I must just add. I do know that if you apply my techniques and strategies into your daily routine, your perception and approach to life will never be the same one hour from now. More than likely, you will question your beliefs and what you have been taught up until this point in your life. I know I did. In fact, it took me years to get my head around the information and strategies I needed to implement in order to create positive direction and routine in my life. After hours of reading countless books on psychology and motivation, Metal Mindset was finally born, and, since its induction, has literally transformed and created real direction and purpose in the lives of a world that is faced with higher depression and obesity rates than ever seen before. Metal Mindset separates two types of people in the world, those who want to embrace it and create meaningful purpose, motivation and success in their life and those who want to fight against it. I have been both and I know I will never be in the latter ever again. Okay, let's get started. Go grab a highlighter and let's give Metal Mindset some life. I can honestly say with absolute confidence that there will be at least one thing on every page of this book that you are going to want to highlight and incorporate into your daily routine. I'd just like to add. Read all chapters in sequence as one builds onto the previous. Here's to your success. Mark Piercy. Mark. I have just finished reading Metal Mindset. Wow, I can't begin to tell you how spot on this book is. For years I have been involved in personal lifestyle development as a personal trainer, and over my five-year professional career I have never come across anything that has helped me as much as this has. I now have another string to my bow that is allowing me to provide greater value not only to my clients but my own personal life. The way you have presented your concepts and techniques in regards to mindset and goal setting have truly given me insight into where the real responsibility for success lies. This won't be the last time I read your book. Your concepts techniques and views on lifestyle transformation are invaluable and I can't wait to implement them into my life as well as incorporate them into my clients programs. For anyone who is looking to turn it around or just create new motivation and direction, Metal Mindset is a must read. Thanks for spending so much time reading the books I didn't want to, honestly I would not have known where to start and neither would so many others. I really believe this is a great read for everybody. Kate Stein, N.T. Metal Mindset is hands down the simplest and easy to understand book I have ever read in regards to mindset. It is definitive and straight to the point. I have been using your goal setting templates now for a couple of weeks and I can really see how this simple daily technique not only forms direction, I feel like I am being more productive and achieving more. Peter Bend, Car. Hi Mark. I have just read you small ebook on mindset and I have read just about all of the books out there. 90% of the books out there are full of people's life stories. You have left all the BS out and given me what I wanted, so thanks. Love your goal setting strategy. Tanita Brenton, LA. It's always been my goal to give motivated people a product that's worth five times more in value than what they paid for. I know the price of Metal Mindset is too low, but as a new Live This Life customer, I want to demonstrate this policy firsthand. I have decided to offer you over $200 of free value for my Live This Life 10-week transformation program just because I can see you are serious about changing your current lifestyle. Please accept and enjoy this offer as a personal gift from me to you. If, after reading this book, you decide that you truly are one of those people who take action and who want to embrace what you have learned here, and create meaningful purpose, 
motivation and success in your life, then visit www.livethislife.com. Start today and see how you can start applying metal mindset to improve your personal health, whether it be to lose weight, have more confidence, increase your energy levels and transform both your mind and body. See what others are saying about my Live This Life 10 Week Interactive Lifestyle Transformation Program. This program takes what you learn today to an entirely new level and is the most comprehensive lifestyle transformation strategy of its kind. Thanks for flicking the positive switch. Mark Piercy. Introduction. Well hi there. My name is Mark Piercy and welcome to my life. What I am about to share with you will absolutely change your life forever if you apply it. You're going to learn a lot. I am pretty straight to the point so make sure you read every sentence or you may miss out on a crucial point that might have a significant impact on your mindset transformation. Now, before we get started, I just want to share a few things with you that I think you need to understand. Firstly, understand that we as humans find it extremely hard to change the process of our thoughts. Trust me, when I was down and out five years ago, I really struggled to comprehend that I was ever going to find a way out. Fortunately for you, I have been there, trapped in that mental prison, and now after reading over 50 books on the subject and attending seminars by great motivators such as Anthony Robbins, I am able to confidently say, I have developed a proven and simplistic strategy that will transform your thought processes if you apply them with consistency and regularity. When I look back on those times, the only person that could really have helped, was me. I had to flick the positive switch and convince myself that I needed to do something. So here's my confession to you so you know I'm no psychological magician but rather just another struggling 20-year-old that made a decision and a pact to himself to never accept negative regressive thoughts again. I got started in the lifestyle industry when I was 26 and had very little money. I started out by reading and researching as much as I could about the human thought process and how much of an impact it had on the programming of our mindset. I have put an extensive amount of research into nutrition flexibility and exercise but first things first, the biggest hurdle of all, mindset. I spent all of my money on knowledge products and mentors and at the time I was making very little money. I was on a mission to build my mind and body to a state that reflected nothing of my past five years. I was annoying and persistent, yet that didn't deter me from where I was headed and finally, after three years. I had reclaimed that positive vibe and bounce that I once had as a kid. I had totally transformed my mind, body and day-to-day -day strategies which were working wonders. I had formed very high energy, confidence and motivation levels and I was in great shape. I was at a stage of my life where I started to expect greater things of myself. I no longer wanted to work for anybody else but myself so I adjusted the mindset dial once again. I was sitting down contemplating various business opportunities online one day when it dawned on me to start something of my own. I thought to myself, why not develop a program using the best strategies and techniques that I have acquired from all of the information, books, videos and seminars I had paid for. I started to piece it all together and really questioned myself on what had the most impact on my transformation. I literally picked everything apart. The result, Live This Life. A fully interactive 300-page step-by-step, day-by-day, digital lifestyle program incorporating goal-setting, nutrition, flexibility and exercise like no other. It's been an honor and a privilege to see Live This Life gain as much popularity as it has, and that is why I am in a position to form such high expectations. My mission at Live This Life is to transform 100,000 lives and donate $1 million to cancer research by 2020. This should leave you with one distinct question. What in the world happened during the two-year period of my life when I was down and out that made such a difference to enable me to turn it all around and form a metal mindset?
Well that's a great question and that's exactly what I'm going to teach you in this book. Let's get started shall we? The only prerequisite you need for success is to be alive. Chapter Avoiding the Onward Spiral Only when you've been to the deepest valley, can you know how magnificent it is to be on the highest mountain. The title of this book is Live This Life Metal Mindset. Before we create a metal mindset, we need to first understand and define what negativity is and how it impacts us. Isn't it strange when a person complains about not having enough time to be happy, yet, they have ample time to be sad? Whether or not you have ever been in this state of mind, has nothing to do with having sufficient or insufficient time. It has everything to do with complaining, after all, complaining is the negation of happiness and let's face it, you can't complain and be happy at the same time, it's just not possible. Most people are about as happy as they make up their minds to be. My advice. Keep your distance because this disease in people is insidious and contagious and can bring you down like the flu. Have you ever been around a group of people who just flat out complain all day, every day, that nothing ever goes their way, and everything is always too difficult or too hard? I have, and this was at the lowest point in my life and perhaps the main contributor to my mental demise those many years ago. You see, I was once quite a successful basketballer representing my state plus winning a national championship in the Australian Basketball Association in my younger days, yet, somewhere along the way, I lost motivation, and allowed myself to get tangled up with this insidious crowd who managed to bring me down to their level. They were just like leeches, sucking any success or motivation I had. Now that I look back, I can see that they did this because they felt threatened, insecure, envious and intimidated. They weren't prepared to climb up to my level so instead they dragged me down to theirs. Unfortunately, 80% of the world is geared this way so my advice to you, spend as much time as you can around successful people so you live and breath positivity. To minimize the risk of self-doubt, don't expose yourself to it in the first place, it's that simple. I found out the hard way. Once you start letting in negative thoughts and unmotivated people, it has the ability to mutilate, cripple and corrode your own spirit. Perhaps the most telling signs of a person broken by negativity is obscured vision, which causes you to become confrontational, apathetic and cynical and, let me assure you, my parents could vouch for that at the time. To make it absolutely clear what types of behavior and people we are trying to avoid here, let's just review the types of negative effects. 1. Complaining. Don't do it, it's worse than doing nothing. Every time you complain, you dig a deeper hole for yourself and it only makes it harder to climb out. If you start, stop it, and replace it with something positive. Turn your bad habit into a good one. 2. Negative attitude, none of life's problems have ever been fixed looking for someone or something to blame. You have no alternative but to make positive thinking work for you. The glass is half full. Start appreciating what you have, instead of scarring yourself with what you lack. 3. Stress less, do what makes you happy more often and replace this with worrying less about what you're not doing. Stress not only has the potential to damage the immune system, it delays success and saps energy and motivation. 4. Negative people, remove yourself from these people. Negative people try and bring you down to their level instead of rising up to yours. They prevent themselves from seeing any good around them. Follow and socialize with positive people. 5. Selfishness, this is a dominant trait of negative thinkers. People who haven't grown up yet, firmly believe that the world should revolve around their wishes, therefore become unhappy if their childish desires are not fulfilled. This poisonous attitude stagnates them and prevents them from growing and learning to deal with life's challenges. 6. Negative Affirmations, any negative talk to ourselves or others is a subconscious form of programming. The human brain absorbs like a sponge so what we say to ourselves or others, we believe, so any form of negative affirmation is just setting us up for failure and disappointment. 
7. Negative imagination, we form beliefs through imagination. By allowing negative images into our head, we create a world that we are forced to live in. In other words, what we see we believe so put a stop to all forms of negative imagery. 8. Impatience plus impatient people spend their time looking for quick fix solutions that don't exist and become frustrated when they fail to find one. Anything worthwhile in life requires effort and persistence therefore, if you lack these qualities, you achieve nothing. 9. Depression plus those that fail to work on improving their negative attitude will more than likely face depression, self-pity and hopelessness. 10. Infection plus negative people are not only harmful to themselves they are harmful to the rest of the world. Negativity is infectious so remove yourself and only promote, live and encourage positivity. Success is a direct reflection of positivity. Remove reverse and replace all 10 aspects with positivity and you will see some amazing life changing results. If the people in your life don't accept your new positive attitude, separate yourself and move away from them. You are free the moment you do not look outside yourself for someone to solve your problems. Dapta flick the positive switch. Now that we have addressed the key areas of negativity that impact the downward spiral, it's time to flick the positive switch and avoid it, or in my case evolve from it. The greatest gift to mankind, is the knowledge that attitude can change your way of life. A positive mindset can be very powerful and very influential in your life. It is something that can be acquired by anyone by simply making a decision to think differently. By implementing positive strategies and techniques into your daily routine, you have the power and ability to override and eliminate any negativity, but, the most important thing to remember is that changing your mindset takes time and is a true reflection of a diligent process. In order to change what you believe and how you think, you need to start investigating the ideas and traits of the people you admire or who you deem are successful. You have already started this journey with metal mindset so continue on and remember knowledge is power. Expose yourself to as many motivational and inspirational books and seminars as you can. Even if you don't learn anything new, chances are you will reinforce what you already know and this is more productive than doing nothing. Unless you expose yourself to the ideas of positive and successful people. Habitual negative thoughts and lifestyle will not produce a person with a positive mindset. A positive mindset is a way of life and lifestyle that sets you apart from people who are negative and miserable, therefore, if you are going to be successful you need a positive plan for action which is where I am taking you with metal mindset. So think with diversity as it is a key ingredient for change. You must be prepared to be mentally flexible by taking on board opposite point of views contrary to your own opinions and beliefs. Always give people a chance. From there you can decipher whether or not this person is of value to you or worthy of your time. Positive people can recognize good opportunities and realize their potential. Negative people fail to recognize opportunity when it is presented to them. Positive people expect to succeed and negative people expect to fail. Whether you believe you can or cannot achieve something, you are right. So why not believe that you can? Having a positive or negative mindset is simply a choice. Choosing to have a positive mindset will allow you to attract amazing opportunities and successes in your life. Choosing to be negative will only attract more negativity and failures in your life. How will you choose to live your life? I know your answer is with a positive mindset. Well done, you've have just flicked the positive switch, so it's time to get started and address the techniques and strategies you can incorporate into your daily routine. Okay, here we go. Fire up the welder, it's time to piece together your metal mindset. B. Positive Alk for Ransition. H. Riven Dream. 8. OL setting to change mindset. A. Isolation. I. My positive persona. F. 7 knife style 7 evidation. Be good to yourself. Be kind. Be forgiving. Be patient. After all, you're all you've got. 
Chapter B, Positive Alk for Ransition. How many people have told you that you have done an outstanding job or praised you and made you feel special today? My guess is not many. Am I right? You see, with 80% of the world's population made up of negative-minded people, the chances of receiving a compliment are very minimal. My point here is, if no one's there to pump your tires and make you feel special 24-7, who is going to do it? I'm glad you answered you. Positive self-talk means purposely giving yourself positive reinforcement, motivation, and recognition and is undoubtedly the most neglected and overlooked requirement of our day-to-day -day progression. Congratulate yourself when you do well, and remind yourself of your abilities, accomplishments, strengths and skills. You have to learn to make self-talk work for you so commit to it. Positive affirmations have a very profound impact on your self-image your self-esteem, and your performance as well as eventual success. Your subconscious triggers physiological responses to match the pictures and thoughts that you have of yourself to make them happen. Make this work for you by keeping your self-talk positive. Build to access with positivity. Eliminate these words completely make these words a part of you vocabulary I can't I can if I will doubt expect the best I don't think I know I don't have the time I will make the time maybe positively I'm afraid if I am confident I don't believe I do believe. Okay, like I said before, you have to find something that works for you. Here are two variations of little self-talk phrases that you can use, so see what works best for you. For the purpose of this exercise, the emphasis is on I and you think. There is no right answer, so put some emotion into each when you say them and see which one works best for you. 1. I am brilliant. 2. You think I am brilliant. Now, the reason I have given you both is because, as humans, the majority of us are programmed to reject self-praise. This is a reflection of our programming as a child. If you were fortunate enough to be brought into the world and grow up around the positive 20% of people, then chances are example number one. I am brilliant will work better for you. For the remaining 80%, example number two. You think I am brilliant, will work better initially. A large majority of us are programmed to reject self-praise. By using the words you think. We are able to bypass this mental barrier by tricking the brain into believing it has come from someone else. You see people in this bracket value the praise and opinions of others more than their own. Over the next 24 hours try both affirmations and see which one generates the best positive emotion for you. Remember, they were just two examples that you can use so don't dwell on it too much because I will be teaching you the exact same strategy I used towards the end of this chapter. Now that you can see how simplistic it is to use positive affirmations, I'll just take this opportunity to explain where to use them. 1. In front of the mirror. 2. Every time you brush your teeth. 3. Every time you wash your hands. 4. Every time you do your hair. The reflection in the mirror will create real honesty in your positive affirmations and add more meaning and authenticity. Say them out loud with as much energy and charisma as you can. The more you put in, the more you get out. Just like most things in life. Repetition. 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 It takes 21 days to form a habit. Don't expect miracles in the first week. It takes time and repetition for your brain to validate and absorb new information especially when you are trying to override an existing habit or belief which has been ingrained for years or even a lifetime. Whenever you catch yourself using negative self-talk, stop and rephrase. Eliminate the negative words and focus on developing a positive affirmation that will overcome this negativity. Summary. Before we look at the exact same strategy I use day in day out, Let's just quickly go over the rules for forming positive affirmations. 1. Make the statements personal to yourself. Use the phrases I am, or, you think I am. 2. Keep affirmations short. How can you use affirmations if you cannot remember them? 3. 
Phrase your affirmations positively. Leave out any negative words. For example, I am not nervous about my presentation. Instead say I am extremely confident about my presentation, or you think I am extremely confident about my presentation. 4. Include a positive emotion. A phrase that triggers a positive emotion strengthens the affirmation. For example I am excited by being positive. 5. Say your affirmations at least 6 times a day. Repetition is life. Repetition enhances self-confidence, acts as a reminder, and stimulates your subconscious to help you achieve your goals in life. Even write some out so you will notice them each day. 6. Use a mirror where you can and verbalize them with volume, energy and charisma. It cannot be overstated the impact that positive self-talk and affirmative statements have on your confidence and success in life. 2. Great G. OK, time to check out my daily strategy and how you can incorporate that into your daily routine and override you negative beliefs. 1. Create your very own positive affirmation palm card that will fit into the photo section of your wallet. A. Dollar I dollar card, sample, B. Dollar one U dollar card, sample. 2. Whichever card you decide to use, make sure your affirmations are of a personal emotional value. If you are unsure where to start, use one of my example cards. 3. Laminate or cover the card with clear packing tape. 4. Put the card in your wallet or save it as an image and set it as a backdrop on your mobile phone. 5. Rehearse your affirmations as soon as you wake up of a morning, in front of the mirror, after you have your shower, wash your hands, brush your teeth and before you go to bed. 6. On each card rehearsal, read each affirmation three times. 1. I am confident. 2. I am successful. 3. I am attractive. 4. I am intelligent. 5. I am motivated. 6. I am positive. 1. You think I am confident. 2. You think I am successful. 3. You think I am attractive. 4. You think I am intelligent. 5. You think I am motivated. 6. You think I am positive. 7. Make sure you affirm your card at least three times a day. The more times you enforce your affirmations, the quicker you will believe them. It's that simple. If you persist and consistently review your affirmation card at least three times a day, you will truly see a difference in your confidence and self-belief. You hold the key to unlock the true potential of your mind. Don't procrastinate, be like Nike and just do it. Dr. H. Driven O Dream. If you could fulfill your wildest dreams, what would that be? When I was a boy, I can remember clearly, my parents encouraging me to follow my dreams, use my imagination and be creative in my thinking. Now that I look back, I think a majority of kids are given that very same advice, and what great advice that is. Unfortunately, as we grow older, there are few people in our lives that reinforce the importance of dreaming. What usually happens is we grow old and forget to dream. Yet, we still manage to pass this advice on to our children. Am I too old to dream? Absolutely not. As long as I have time, I will have dreams. Now, when I say dreaming, I don't necessarily mean the ones you have when you are asleep at night, I'm talking about the ones you have conscious control over. As we move forward in this book, I will teach you the difference between dreams and goals, but at this stage of your transition, dreams are a great starting point to provoke positive emotional inspiration and build a foundation for direction. Dreams are aspirations that are unmeasurable and do not require achievement, they are simply fantasy thoughts and slash or visions that give you an escape from reality to release some of the pressures associated with life. At this early stage, I don't want to confuse you. My goal is for you to evoke as many positive emotions as you can, when you think about what may lay ahead in the future. Dreaming is a great way to spark desire 
That is why my strategy with this book is to think big and work your way back with precise intricacy. Here are just a few examples of dreams, I will be the greatest basketball player ever. I will own and drive a red Ferrari. I will own and live in a three-story house on my favorite beach. I will be the world's greatest dad. Okay, I could go on forever, so just remember, dreams are wants that exceed our wildest expectation. Summary. 1. You are never too old to dream. 2. Dreams have no limitations. 3. Dreams build the foundation for desire. Your journey to create motivation, direction and eventually success is a true reflection of the strategy you employ on a daily basis, so let's get started by taking a look at the strategy I use to really kickstart these desires. Strategy. 1. Grab a pen and spend 20 minutes to jot down anything that could exceed your wildest expectations in life. This could be anything from an accomplishment to acquiring a materialistic object. 2. Let your mind run loose, jot everything down, including the words or phrases that trigger these desires. 3. Spend only 20 minutes. Then, over the course of the next 24 hours. Come back to your list at least three times and add as many dreams as you can. 4. Tomorrow, when you have completed your list, grab a big piece of blank paper. You are about to create your dream poster. 5. In the center of this piece of paper in big bold letters, either write or cut out and paste the words my d colon semicolon nams. 6. Grab your list, scissors glue stick and all of your old magazines. The internet is a great place to start for pictures. 7. Locate and cut out all of the pictures that best represent and provoke positive emotions when you review your dream list. These pics may include houses, clothes, cars, boats, bikes, people you admire and want to be like. Anything. 8. Make sure the pics you choose are colorful and packed full of clarity. Your objective is to find pics with extreme emotional value. 9. Go ahead and stick your photos to your dream poster. 10. Once you have an image for every dream on your list, and that's not to say you can't have multiple images for each dream, find a place in your house where you can put your dream poster. I personally have mine on the back of the toilet door. 11. You can also create a dream wallpaper for your computer. The more you see your dreams the more inspired you will become. A poster is a, an effective way of planting a subconscious psychological seed for success. Dreams are forever. Never lose sight of your dreams. Success is getting what you want. Happiness is liking what you get. Adapt rate goal setting to danger inset. With your newfound positivity, it's time to start putting it to good use, by looking forward and setting goals that will keep you focused and moving forward in a positive direction. People who plan to plan, don't plan to fail. I remember the day I stopped setting goals, my life became stagnant, and eventually I was trapped on the downward spiral where I started to digress. You see. My point here is, in order to maintain positivity you must achieve success regularly. Success is a byproduct of obtaining or achieving something that you want. Everybody needs constant rewards in life, and the best way to reward yourself is by accomplishing something you want. The more you reward yourself, the more successful you become, the happier you are. Now, that's not to say that everybody has the same interpretation of success. For me, it might be finishing a novel, and for you it might be winning gold at the Olympics. As long as your achievement has meaningful purpose to you, then, that is how you define success. Why do we need success in our life? So we can feel good, and stay positive. So how do you succeed on a regular basis? I'm glad you asked. The most productive way to consistently succeed, is to set goals. Goal setting involves establishing specific, measurable and time-targeted objectives. This method of accomplishment has featured as a major component of personal development for centuries. 
When planning for success, it's best to categorize your objectives. Goal setting is best broken down into three categories. 1. Short-term goals. 2. Intermediate goals. 3. Ultimate goals. You set short-term goals to achieve your intermediate goals which work towards accomplishing your ultimate goals. The key is to set clear definitive goals that you will achieve within a certain time frame, and not to overload yourself with too many at the one time. It is best to set five in each category. Okay, so what constitutes a successful goal and how do I word them? Focus on the positive and goal statements. Compare the following phrases, and notice how the positive words convey confidence, commitment, and enthusiasm. For example instead of I will try, substitute the phrase I will. Instead of saying I should do insert the phrase I will do. I will statements are very powerful positive self statements or reminders to help you achieve goals. Before we move to my short term, intermediate and ultimate goal setting strategy here are a few variations that I find very powerful. 1. I will consume 5 balanced and nutritious meals tomorrow. Short term goal. 2. Within 10 weeks I will lose 10 kilograms of body fat. Intermediate goal. 3. Within 2 years I will start my own business. Ultimate goal. Can you see how I have defined an objective, and time frame in which I will achieve each goal? The objective forms direction and the time frame creates motivation. Now, there's no use setting goals if you don't review them constantly. The more you recite your goals, the more inspired you will become to achieve them. Setting goals to achieve an objective, is the driving force behind your motivation. If you can increase your motivation, you will want to achieve more, and achieving more makes you more successful. Being successful will make you happy. Before we move on to my goal setting strategy, let me just summarize the key points. Summary. Goals form direction, I will. Time frames create motivation, within. Achieving equals success, happiness. Okay, time to check out my goal setting strategy and how you can incorporate that into your daily routine and create unlimited motivation. Strategy. 1. I start with my ultimate goals and work back to my short term goals. 2. I affirm my goals as soon as I wake up of morning, at lunch, and before I go to bed. 3. I set my daily goals the night before when I affirm my intermediate and ultimate goals as this gives me inspiration. 4. I read each goal three times, every time I visit my goals. When I achieve one of my goals I simply replace it so I am always working towards five ultimate, intermediate, and short term goals. Ultimate goals. 1. Within three years I will own my own business. 2. Within three years I will own my own my dream car. 3. Within five years I will have a holiday house. 4. Within five years I will travel around France. 5. Within 10 years I will transform 100,000 lives. Intermediate Goals. 1. Within 10 weeks I will lose 10 kilograms of body fat. 2. Within 10 weeks I will look great on the beach. 3. Within 10 weeks I will finish my business plan. 4. Within 10 weeks I will save $5,000. 5. Within 10 weeks I will pass my course. Goals are just like positive affirmations. If you persist and consistently review your goals at least three times a day, you will truly increase your motivation and success. It is impossible to advance in life without goals. Short Term Goals 1. Tomorrow I will eat five nutritious meals. 2. Tomorrow I will go for a 25 min run. 3. Tomorrow I will start my business plan. 4. This week I will save $500. 5. This week I will finish my assignment. Chapter A, Victory Begins with Visualization. Throughout life, 
we record each and every experience in our subconscious mind. For the most part, we are unaware we have stored these experiences away in the filing cabinet of our mind. At some future point, a new event will trigger the memory of an old experience. For example, a beautiful sunset may remind you of a vacation trip to Hawaii. It is important to note, that our brain is capable of both recording and playing back memories. Second, when we do recall a memory, it is the emotions and feelings we re-experience, not the facts and figures from the memory. Which leads me to my next strategy, visualization for victory. Visualization is another powerful tool that can be used to transform and strengthen the mind's ability to believe and build success. By visualizing positive imagery, you are able to change emotions to have a positive effect on your mind and body. For me, the true power of visualization was revealed at one of Anthony Robbins' seminars where I endured the fire walk. The ability to visualize and distract my mind from its programmed belief, enabled me to walk barefoot across a 15-foot track of red-hot coal and come out on the other side without a burn or blister. From the thousand people who endured the fire walk, a little over 1% were taken to hospital with third-degree burns because they did not willingly accept that a positive visual and verbal belief strategy could override their traditional belief of the mind. Quite an amazing statistic don't you think? 10 people out of 1000. To give you a quick example of how we are able to produce and trigger physical changes, close your eyes for a minute and picture yourself taking a bite out of a lemon. Chances are your taste glands will salivate and react as though you have really bitten into a lemon. Similarly, if you visualize yourself running up a steep hill putting in 110%, your heart rate should increase even though you are sitting down and relaxing. These are just two examples of how visualization techniques can produce real physical changes in the body. Now that you have emulated these two examples, you might be asking yourself, well how does biting a lemon or running up a hill have anything to do with my success? Well, the point I am trying to make here is that if you were able to trigger physical change through visualization from an activity that you have physically endured in the past, why can't you trigger physical change by using mental imagery to program the mind into simulating positive results in the future? The answer, you can. Today, athletes all over the world are using visualization techniques to picture success in their chosen sport, months, even years out from a specific event. By the time the event comes around, they have already competed and rehearsed their success 100. 1000 times before in their mind. The result? Extreme confidence and self-belief. By building and strengthening these two qualities you limit the impact of negative emotions such as nervousness for example. You see, negative emotions consume energy, and in such an important event, energy is vital. Visualization prepares you for these emotional fluctuations by overriding doubt with what could happen with what you believe will happen. How does it work? Visualization encourages activity in the right side of your brain, related to creativity and emotions. It leaves you free to focus on overcoming a fear, achieving insights about an emotional anxiety or focusing on the particular goal you want to pursue. As the imaginary visual experience continues, your blood pressure and heart rate may fall. Even breathing brings new energy and vitality into the body. While the mind is busily delving into unexplored realms, the body is in healing mode. Visualization techniques have been used to cure phobias, lower blood pressure, turn average athletes into good ones and improve the good ones even more. In fact, research shows that visualizing yourself making the perfect golf swing or delivering the perfect tennis volley actually increases your ability to do just that. The popularity of visualization is increasing every day and has become a proven personal development and healing tool for the following. 1. Stress and pain relief. 2. Motivation and personal development. 3. Allergies and immune system disorders. 4 cancer, as a complementary therapy. Before I give you the exact same visualization strategy I use on a daily basis, 
Let me point out the key ingredients to a successful mental imagery session. Objective, to be successful in anything, you must first define a goal. A goal is an objective you would like to accomplish within a given time frame and may include anything that you want to succeed at. Here are a few examples. Winning the 100M sprint at your athletics carnival. Nailing the perfect public speaking presentation. Winning the grand final in your chosen sport. Securing a promotion or your dream job. Getting into optimal physical shape within a certain time frame. Finishing your first novel. Environment, in order to get the most out of a visualization session, you need to find a place that is going to relieve you from many external distractions and promote an environment that works for you. As we are all different, such environments may include, lying on your bed in total silence, sitting or lying down in total darkness, outside, at your favorite park or beach, sitting or lying down with your appropriate background music, relaxing in the bath, relaxation, relaxation is the key to any successful visualization. You must be able to put yourself into a state, where ultimately, you eliminate all external distractions and thoughts in your mind. This will take time to master so be patient. The most effective way to achieve total relaxation is to close your eyes and concentrate on slow deep breathing. This is known as centering. Centering, means not allowing your inner thoughts to be overshadowed by stressful circumstances or negative thoughts and emotions. When set red for relaxation you must, close your eyes to eliminate all visual distractions. Block out all surrounding noise. Focus on slow deep breathing. Lower your heart rate. Release any stress or tension. Center your mind. Virtual world, now that you have centered, it's time to create your virtual world. Your virtual world is an imaginary place that you create where you can go to escape from the real world. This is your world away from the world. The reason why this is so effective is because by creating the perfect escape in your mind, you can visit this place for total inner peace at any time. It is also a very effective way to put you in the perfect state for visualization. Think of it this way. If you could design a perfect place for you to relax, where would it be, and what would it look like? There are no limitations. It might be a waterfall or a secluded beach or even a forest. Everything at this place is designed for your total relaxation. The more times you visit your virtual world, the clearer it will become, to the point where eventually you will be able to escape from the real world within seconds. Your virtual world should evoke as many senses as possible for example, smell sound touch sight taste clarity, when, and only when you have mastered relaxation and the ability to create your virtual world, will you begin to visualize with crystal clear clarity. Visualization is similar to digital photography, the more photos you take, the higher quality images you produce. Mental imagery is no different. The more you visualize, the clearer your imagery becomes. At first you may find your images a little fuzzy or static, however, with practice and persistence, I guarantee you they will start to become sharp and reflect intricate detail. As the clarity of your imagery improves through repetition, you will find the duration of your visualization increasing. This will be a true indication that the mental stimulation from your visualization sessions is increasing, which in turn reflects greater self-confidence by becoming more comfortable with seeing yourself succeed. Optimal clarity is achieved through repetition and rehearsal and is a reflection of the following. Visual resolution and definition. Sound and noise quality. Touch and feel. Smell and scent. Emotion. The more positive emotion you can generate in a visualization session, the more likely you are to succeed on the day of your chosen event, as it are these positive emotions that will override the negative ones. In order to capture the feeling of a positive emotion, think back to a time when you were successful at something, and the feeling you had from that success. Such examples may include, getting an A-plus in a maths exam, winning the 100-meter sprint, receiving a compliment from someone you admire, 
getting your first bike or even getting married. This was the warm fuzzy feeling you got when you had achieved something that was special or of significant importance to you. These are the feelings, positive emotions, that must transpire from accomplishment in your visualization. The more positive emotions we can generate from a single imagery session, the more productive the outcome. Positive emotions are triggered by achievement and accomplishment and reflect the following. Confidence, love, strength, joy, ecstasy. Duration, initially, duration will be a true reflection of clarity. Your ability to visualize with clarity, will have a major impact on the duration of your visualization sessions. Losing clarity is a true reflection of distraction, and in this case, it will most likely be your own thoughts that will distract you. Practice makes perfect, so be committed and persistent. As you become more experienced, your mental imagery will become more comfortable. Your ultimate goal is to visualize the whole event that you want success in, from start to finish, and feel every positive emotion possible. In order to prepare yourself for an event, you want to replicate all variables leading up to it, therefore, the more detail and events you can visualize leading up to your event, the more prepared you will be. The greater your preparation, the greater your chance for success. Your visualization session should not be governed by time, but instead, intricate detail. Include the following, how you will feel when you wake up in the morning, confident. What you will eat prior to your event, taste. How you will feel prior to your event, strength. How you will feel during your event, confident. How you will feel after you succeed at your event, joy, ecstasy. Repetition, anybody can acquire knowledge, it's how you use it that sets people apart. Throughout this book, I continually use the word repetition. Repetition is the key to mastery. Take learning to riding a bike for example, very few of us are able to jump straight on the bike and master it, and so we fall off, we get back on, we fall off again, we get back on again, until finally we perfect the art of riding a bike. Visualization is no different, once you master the art, it's a matter of repetition. Once you succeed at your desired event, it's time to create a new vision for success and replicate your visualization strategy around your new goal. The main keys to repetition are, define your visualization objective. Implement your visualization strategy. Repeat this strategy daily. Achieve your objective. Repeat this process. You should by now have a solid foundation to build a positive visualization session, so let's build on that and take a look at the exact same strategy I use, Two great G. One. Objective. I will be best on court in my basketball grand final. Two. Environment. I prefer to lie on my bed on my back in complete darkness. And make sure there are no noise distractions. I don't use any form of background music. Three. Relaxation. I take 20 really deep breaths and focus on centering my breathing and releasing my inner thoughts with my eyes shut. 4. My virtual world. I then enter my virtual world where I spend 1 to 2 minutes. In my body sculpted rock pool. I try to promote as many positive emotions as I can, from the clarity of the landscape to the temperature of the water, from the feel of the water to the sound of the birds and running water. In my virtual world I can create any mood and promote any emotion that I need to obtain optimal inner focus where I am totally excluded from the real world. I have now put myself in a state of total centered relaxation and am ready to visualize my success with intricate clarity. 5. My visual success. I start by visualizing waking up on the day of my big event. I feel the positive emotions that transpire from my extreme confidence and energy as I start the day. I then visualize sitting down to breakfast where I can taste my favorite foods while I affirm my success in the grand final. I picture myself being extremely confident around my friends and family as they encourage and congratulate me on my achievement. 
I then move forward to my pre-game shoot around where I visualize making every shot. I feel the strength and confidence as I shoot around and handle the ball. I visualize sitting down to my pre-game meal, I can taste my favorite pasta and feel the inner confidence as game time nears. I picture myself arriving at the stadium and walking through the doors to greet my teammates. I can smell the stadium and hear the crowd. As I suit up, I can feel the positive energy and excitement. In the change rooms as we go over our game plan. The true power of the human mind is unlimited. If you visualize to succeed, you will achieve. Positive imagery generates positive results. The more you visualize success in the future, the more confident you will be able to accomplish it. Remember one thing, victory begins with visualization. It's time to warm up before the main event and I feel extremely confident, agile and quick. I visualize the crowd and atmosphere. It's game time, I visualize the first, second, third and fourth quarters making my shots, stealing the ball, grabbing rebounds, giving assists, running the offenses and totally dominating my opponent. It's the final quarter we are down by a point with 10 seconds to go, I can feel the sweat running down my forehead, the crowd has gone silent, I have the ball, I make my move, shoot, score, nothing but net, we win by a point. My teammates are ecstatic. They all jump on me, we have done it, we have won the grand final. I can feel all of the emotions of jubilation from my success. I visualize myself receiving my medal and receiving the MVP of the game award. I picture the team in the change room as we sing the club song around family and friends. I have succeeded. I take a couple of deep breaths and open my eyes slowly. My session is complete. 6. Duration. This is a typical visualization session for me which would last between 20, 40 minutes. 7. Repetition. For a grand final I would carry out 5 to 7 visualization sessions prior to the event. This is because you are never assured a berth in a grand final. Visualization for basketball is a game by game for me, as the venue and opposition are forever changing. The greater the importance of my event the more sessions I will carry out. The more variables of an event I can visualize, the greater chance I have for success. The more repetitive I am, the more confident I feel on the day. Dapter 7, Why Positive Persona? Now I understand the secret of correcting the attitude of others and that is to correct my own. Before we journey onto your positive persona, let's build the foundation with the 10 commandments for living with people. 1. Speak to people, nothing is so nice as a cheerful greeting. 2. Smile at people, it takes 72 muscles to frown, only 14 to smile. 3. Dull people by name, the sweetest sound is one's own name. 4. Be friendly and helpful, if you want friends, be a friend. 5. Be cordial. Speak and act in such a way as to demonstrate that everything you do is a genuine pleasure. 6. Be genuinely interested in people, just try and you can like almost everyone. 7. Be generous with praise, and be courteous with criticism. 8. Be considerate of others, there are often three sides to a controversy, yours, hers, and the right side. 9. Be alert to give help, what we do for others' lives is immortal. 10. Add to all this, a good sense of humor, loads of patience and a dash of humility. Let the refining and improving of your own life keep you so busy that you have little time to criticize others. Positivity breeds positivity. If you have made the decision to flick the positive switch in your life, then now is the time to infect those around you. You see. By making a concerned effort to be positive around others, chances are you will receive it back, twofold. 
If you have come this far in my book, I am 100% confident that this is the environment that you want to create. Am I right? Sure, you will find some people who are intimidated by your positive persona, but don't get disillusioned. Seriously, let them make the decision to walk away, just maintain focus and move forward in the direction of your goals. Eventually, your positive attitude will infect those around you and your positivity will be reciprocated. Anybody has the power to be a leader. It's up to you to change the mood of your environment, so give out what you expect back. It's amazing what a single compliment can do for someone's day. How do you feel when someone congratulates you, praises you, encourages or compliments you? Chances are, at first, you are shocked and you try to analyze the motives behind it. Then, once you convince yourself that it was indeed true and you were worthy of such praise, you get that warm fuzzy feeling and straight away think, wow, that was nice, how can I repay that person's generosity? So you think for a while, what you could say or do for this person. Maybe you can't think of anything at the time and you forget, but then a couple of days later that same person compliments you again. Wow, what's going on here? Again you get that warm fuzzy feeling, but this time you can see that this person has sincerely tried to make you feel good, not once, but twice. Therefore, when the time is right, you return the compliment. Now. Can you see how the power of one person with a persistent positive persona can have an effect on you? Initially there was one, then he or she lured you into became two and so on, eventually, your environment is infected with positivity. Compliments are contagious so just try it. However, be persistent as it will take time to earn people's trust in order for them to give back. A compliment may be as simple as, for, girls. I admire your dress sense. Thanks for being a caring and a wonderful friend. You are so thoughtful in dealing with others. I loved the way you multitask everything. You smell great. Which perfume do you wear? I loved the way you cook. Where did you learn such recipes? Your smile lights up your face. You seem to have lost weight. Are you working out? Your patience in dealing with others is what I admire most in your personality. I love talking to you. You have an awesome sense of humor. When I'm with you, it really doesn't matter where I'm heading. For boys. I love spending time with you. Have you been working out? You are so funny. I loved the way you tell jokes. You are so good at fixing things around the house. I appreciate your help in fixing my remote. You have such an interesting personality. I love talking to you. You have a great sense of humor. You are so well read. I am impressed with the way you handled the tough situation. You always know the right things to say. I feel so happy whenever I am with you. That was a great game you just played. You are so supportive and understanding. In order for your positivity to wear off on others, people need to see that you are genuine, accomplished and confident in the way you conduct yourself and go about life. Posture, akin to body language, is a great indicator of confidence so get your shoulders back and sit up straight. The way you hold yourself, talk and dress all have an impact on the positive persona you portray. Hence, if you want other people to change, or follow your lead, you have to be willing to fulfill their desires and see you as a worthwhile role model. Now, I'm not saying go and tell them how good you are and why they need you, I'm saying be naturally confident and positive around them and let them make the decision to follow your lead. The most influential way to have a positive impact on somebody, is to give up your time to help them achieve what it is they want to achieve, and then compliment them when they have achieved it. When you start to give, you receive. The more you give the more you receive. Funny that. How much are you giving? Start making a conscious effort to give effort. If you get a cup of coffee, get the person next to you a cup of coffee, if you take your bins out, take your neighbor's bins out, and so on. Remember, the return on positive gestures is not a competition, there is no scoreboard. 
If you want people to change, you have to be willing to give them more than you get back. This is what makes a true leader. People will not follow unless they have the desire to believe in you. Okay, before we take a look at my simplistic strategy to create a positive persona, let's quickly recap on this chapter, summary. Positivity breeds positivity. Consistently give compliments. Conduct yourself with confidence. Give more to receive. There is no I in team. 2 Trait G. 20% of the world's population are positive people. That is the statistic you have the power to increase whether at home, at work or wherever you are. The road to success is not doing one thing 100% better, but doing 100 things 1% better. Daily Compliments 1. I will give my partner a compliment. 2. I will give one workmate a compliment. 3. I will send one encouraging email. 4. I will send a positive message to a friend. 5. I will compliment somebody's service. Daily Actions 1. I will give my partner a hug. 2. I will do something for someone else. 3. I will concentrate on good posture. 4. I will give more than I receive. 5. I will be positive when I communicate. Chapter F7 Life Style 7 Evitation Throughout this book, I have given you a total mind transformation strategy, to create desire, motivation, belief, self-confidence, ambition and direction, to ultimately become a positive, successful thinker by developing a mental mindset. If you employ these simple strategies with consistent regularity, I guarantee outstanding psychological results that will exceed your wildest expectations. Now, if you have arrived at this chapter, I commend you on your discipline, commitment and willingness to change. You have flicked the positive switch, the first step, and, without doubt, the hardest step in transforming your life into something special. You see, transforming your mind is just the beginning. I am now going to transform your body and give you energy and outstanding health to speed up your journey to success, 100 times faster than you could imagine. By completing this book you have qualified for my Live This Life Lifestyle Transformation Program. Live This Life is the most powerful tool on the planet to fuel your newfound direction and positivity. My formula and criteria for success in life is simple. Healthy mind p healthy body p healthy business qs equals cc semicolon ss. The order in which you go about your transformation is crucial. It has to be achieved in this order. Can you see how it works? Great, you have just fulfilled my first criteria for a healthy mind, so c and ng, t equals 7 t and ns, here is my gift to you. Never before in the history of this industry has such a comprehensive transformation system been produced or implemented. Sure there are other transformation solutions out there, however, these programs are one-dimensional and do not offer a total progressive solution from start to finish, mind and body. My goal with Live This Life was to develop and create a complete strategy for lifestyle transformation, based on my own proven experience. And I can say, with great confidence, that I have achieved this. Never before has an organization developed and delivered this many life-changing strategies at such great value, which you can use for the rest of your life at no additional expense. Now that you have read this book, I absolutely recommend you continue on your journey for success and happiness in life and take advantage of my special lifestyle program offer, incorporating, OL setting, nutrition zero flexibility and activity into the power of metal mindset. This book and my lifestyle program go hand in hand. So take the next step, and I will see you on the other side where my 10 week 300 page interactive lifestyle program complete with members website, demonstration videos, tutorials, daily charts, progress charts, etc etc. The program will guide you step by step, day by day, for the next 70 days and equip you with the knowledge to unlock your true potential.
have more energy, lose weight, gain confidence, increase your motivation and live longer. Oh, and did I mention, make money along the way? www.livethislife.com.off Start today. You have, 1. Positive talk for transition. Driven to dream. B. Goal setting to danger mindset. H. Isolation. 8. My positive persona. You eat. A. Goal setting to danger mindset. Program edition. I. Attrition to eat smart. F. Zero low percent ability for agility. 4. E percent size for energy. 10. 3 old your live this life 3 you sinus. 0 in all thoughts. These strategies and tactics are what transformed my life to where it is today, and I truly hope that you memorize and apply them for yours. In less than a year, I turned my life around from down and out, to happy and successful, by changing my attitude and direction in life and achieving optimal health. This should mean one thing to you, no matter where you are in life or how far down the spiral you are, or even how dejected you may have become, you can absolutely achieve your dreams and goals, and do it faster than you can imagine. One thing is for certain, you must be willing to commit and work hard over the 10-week program. If you do, I can guarantee the rewards will come. You only get one shot at this thing called life. Get what is yours. Sincerely. Mark Piercy. Disclaimer and Terms of Use Agreement. The author and publisher of this program and the accompanying materials have used their best efforts in preparing this program. The author and publisher make no representation or warranties with respect to the accuracy, applicability, fitness, or completeness of the contents of this program. The information contained in this program is strictly for educational purposes. Therefore, if you wish to apply ideas contained in this program, you are taking full responsibility for your actions. Every effort has been made to accurately represent this product and its potential. Even though this industry is one of the few where one can write their own check in terms of earnings, there is no guarantee that you will earn any money using the techniques and ideas in these materials. Examples in these materials are not to be interpreted as a promise or guarantee of earnings. Earning potential is entirely dependent on the person using our product, ideas and techniques. We do not purport this as a get-rich scheme. Any claims made of actual earnings or examples of actual results can be verified upon request. Your level of success in attaining the results claimed in our materials depends on the time you devote to the program, ideas and techniques mentioned, your finances, knowledge and various skills. Since these factors differ according to individuals, we cannot guarantee your success or income level. Nor are we responsible for any of your actions. Materials in our product and our website may contain information that includes or is based upon forward-looking statements within the meaning of the Securities Litigation Reform Act of 1995. Forward-looking statements give our expectations or forecasts of future events. You can identify these statements by the fact that they do not relate strictly to historical or current facts. They use words such as anticipate, estimate, expect, project, intend, plan, believe, and other words and terms of similar meaning in connection with the description of potential earnings or financial performance. Any and all forward-looking statements here or on any of our sales material are intended to express our opinion of earnings potential. Many factors will be important in determining your actual results and no guarantees are made that you will achieve results similar to ours or anybody else's. In fact no guarantees are made that you will achieve any results from our ideas and techniques in our material. The author and publisher disclaim any warranties, express or implied, merchantability, or fitness for any particular purpose. The author and publisher shall in no event be held liable to any party for any direct, indirect, punitive, special, incidental or other consequential damages arising directly or indirectly from any use of this material, 
which is provided as is, and without warranties. As always, the advice of a competent legal, tax, accounting or other professional should be sought. The author and publisher do not warrant the performance, effectiveness or applicability of any sites listed or linked to in this program. All links are for information purposes only and are not warranted for content, accuracy or any other implied or explicit purpose.